A year ago today, we celebrated the art and life of Jose Parla. It was the best event of 2020. museum was so lit but the after party event before the pandemic and now Jose is fighting COVID and we're sending him love and strength and so grateful because we're in this together I love you Jose truly we love you and all of that was just one year ago I wonder if we had known that the pandemic was coming, if we would have partied any harder. Because I don't think we would have. <laughs> I don't think we could have. We partied so hard, like a bunch of teenagers lost in what we love. And that is one of the most magical feelings. And one of my favorite moments of the night was when we were on the dance floor Jose started dancing. He took off his glasses. He was doing floor work, killing it. Bobito was spinning and he had us in the palm of his hand. And there was like one point in the song that he was supposed to drop the beat and he didn't drop the beat. The room went crazy. And you could see it in the footage. Jose's face is priceless. That was one of my favorite moments of the entire night because it was filled with so much joy and innocence, yeah, we were like a bunch of kids. <laughs> and I got to wear my witch hat all night long. <laughs> I'm just so grateful because it was a night of hip hop humanitarianism at its finest. It was a cohesive collaboration, you know, with the who's who in all of the elements of hip hop all together in one night. There was so much love. It was like, that's hip hop. That's
that's that right there. That was hip hop. That was a night that I will never forget. And I hope that we get to celebrate in the future surviving this pandemic and this dark time of quarantine and isolation and restoration. I send you all healing vibrations and so much gratitude for the light you've brought into this world. Jose, gracias. La Bruja, over and out. Much love.